Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we're going to get back to the topic of consumer preference and specifically we're going to talk about diminishing rate of substitution. So let me start with the question I left you, uh, left you with in the last class, which is tell me what you can tell me about uh, as you keep getting an extra unit of x1, how much of x2 will you be willing to give up as long as you are indifferent between these bundles. So what we mean by indifferent is that you're going to be equally happy between these three bundles. So if you're not comfortable with the concept of indifferent bundles, uh, go look at the video on substitution between goods, which should show up on the top right of your, of your screen. So as long as you're indifferent uh, between these bundles, which means you're equally happy, think about, let's pick an example, let's say you have one genes and you are uh, thinking about getting an extra unit of genes. So think about how much of, so the two examples are good one is jeans and uh, the second good is t-shirts or shirts, it doesn't matter. Uh, so as we keep getting an extra unit of jeans, think about how much or how many t-shirts you're willing to give up and leave you equally happy. So I'll pick some numbers and we'll go through the example. Again, it's very important to, for you to understand that you're going to be equally happy. So if you start off with one jeans and 10 t-shirts, then think about if you want one more unit of jeans, uh, how many t-shirts are you going to be willing to give up? And then if you want another pair of jeans, how many t-shirts you're going to be willing to give up? So the premise behind diminishing rate of substitution is that we like to have some of both goods and not a lot of one and none of the other. So looking at this example, to get one more jeans, I'll be willing to give up, I'm just you know, uh, going with this example, five shirts because I like to have some of both goods. And then to get another unit of jeans, now the combination between jeans and shirts is not as wide as the first bundle. Then to give up another, uh, to get one more unit of jeans, I might only be willing to give up one shirt. So the idea behind bundle A, B, and C is that as you are indifferent between them, as you keep getting more and more of one of the goods, the amount of the other good that you're willing to give up, which in going from this bundle to this bundle is five, of good two that we're willing to give up, and going from this bundle to this bundle is only one. So that number, uh, which is how much of x2 we're willing to give up to get another unit of x1, becomes smaller and smaller. So let's look at the definition. So what we're saying is that as you get more and more units of x1, the amount of the other good, which in our case is x2, that you're willing to give up as you keep getting an extra unit of x1 is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So the ratio, which again we talked about in the last video, which is change in x2 over change in x1. Again, you know, think of jeans and clothes, and I'll do another example before we wrap up this video. As we keep getting more and more units of x1, the amount of x2 we are willing to give up becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. So this ratio is going to become smaller and smaller as I'm consuming each extra unit of x1. So again, you know, the, the, we are indifferent between these bundles. So what we are paying for x1 is how much x2 we are willing to give up. So the amount of x2 that I'm going to be willing to give up to get one more unit of x1 is going to become smaller and smaller. So these preferences for consumers uh, is also referred to as convex preferences. Just to model the fact that we like to have some of both goods uh, and not just uh, a lot of one. So let me do another example, because this is a very important concept. In the next video, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna graph this concept. So I'm gonna leave you with one more example. So next time you're eating your, your next meal, think about you're gonna have some water, you're gonna have some plates of food. So let's say your option one, one bundle is five glasses of water and zero units of food. Now to, uh, to keep you equally happy, to get one more unit of food, you're going to be willing to give up a lot of water because you have no food to start with. But then as you keep getting an extra unit of food, because uh, you like to have some of both, the amount of water you're going to be willing to give up is going to become smaller and smaller and smaller. So think about this example next time you're eating a meal, and I'm sure the concept of diminishing uh, 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 substitution between goods is going to become a lot clearer. So make sure you understand this, and in the next video we are going to graph uh, this concept of a diminishing rate of substitution. All right, see you then.